Yo, what's up, y'all? All right, so I don't know what time it was last night, but J. Cole up and decided to drop a new track. And if you know me, I always welcome new music from Cole, man. I, I, I love when we get some new music, especially when he already dropped the album this year. I, I, I want new music from Cole. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so he dropped a new track called Heaven's EP. And honestly, it's not a bad track at all. Um, of course, you had people like it was like re like it was good reactions. And then I saw somebody say, now, why would Cole take Drake's song and ruin it like that? You know, just just being petty. But, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, but as far as the track goes, I really, really enjoyed it. And um, I saw a tweet earlier that said that Cole's music is from his heart and his soul. Right. And I 100 percent agree with that, because on this song, Cole, first of all, Cole has no problem shouting out Drake and Kendrick. He has no problem giving them their own praise. Right. When he calls them superstars. Right. Or when he says that they are superstars to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, he has no problems admitting on the song that, hey, yo, sometimes regardless of how much fame I have, how much money I have. I don't want to, I don't like taking pictures, you know, I don't like to be out in the spotlight like that, I don't like to show, you know, how much I've been able to obtain due to my wealth and all this other stuff, like, so many artists, and honestly, just YouTubers, like, I, it's weird, anyways, a lot of people like to flex, you know what I'm saying, and Cole would just rather be low-key, like, He's the only person I know with all that damn money and still riding riding the bike around the street, around New York, you know, like a normal ass person. And I love to see that, you know, because you know, you never see that type of stuff. Frank Ocean does it. But yeah, I'm just saying, you know, for for somebody of Cole's stature within hip hop. Right. It, it's it's honestly is great to see because then it go it shows you like, hey, yo, regardless of what you may think about these people's music. They're still regular ass people at the end of the day, just with, you know, a little bit of extra cash on, them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the lyrics I wanted to bring up, um, Cole says, he says, I be keeping my kids away from the gays of the public because these days it feel like hate is their favorite subject. Bro, when I heard that, I had to pause because I'm like, yo, is Cole talking to me right now? Because we on the same freaking wavelength right now, bro. I hate the fact that first of all so many people think that Pusha T bullied Drake into taking care of his kid and that is so messed up bro it's funny I'm not gonna lie it is hilarious but it's messed up at the same time because that is it's like ayo hey, so after all this time Drake is finally taking care of his kid because of Pusha T so people like to make it seem like all right so if Pusha T never came out with that uh diss track would would Drake ever take care of his kid? Like, it, it, the, the the freaking mental gymnastics that y'all go through on social media is crazy, right? But anyhow, I really like this track for the simple fact that whenever an artist or a celebrity or whatever says, hey, yo, I got a kid, or I'm pregnant, or, hey, here's kid number eight, like, Social media does everything and everything to tear that child down. They don't know what's going on. They're living their best damn life on a freaking yacht, sipping champagne in a freaking sippy cup, and you sitting at your house crying every night. So there's clearly a difference. And and they only five years old. You about 35 still talking about these little ass kids. Something's wrong with y'all, for real. When it comes to these artists posting about their children, right, Social people on social media, they get this. I don't understand why, but it's like they 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 almost get off on it because it's like, oh oh shoot, that's an easy ass target. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's so weird to me that the y'all are grown adults. It's grown adults talking about little children and how their hair looks and how they look physically and you know whether or not they're attractive or not. What's wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> Like, I, I don't get that. I truly don't get that. So when Cole says, hey, yo, I don't want to put my kids out here like this because he knows that people will take a, a single flick of Cole's kid and go crazy with it and say, oh, uh, Cole kid look like this. He look like this. Why he look like that? Why they look like this? Like, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And it continues to happen. I remember, I don't even know if people still do it, but I know a lot of people were doing that when, um, with uh, Blue Ivy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people were trying to just disparage that little girl's facial features and her hair and all that. I'm like, yo, 
what is wrong with how how were y'all raised bro like i don't understand that still to this day i don't understand that another thing that i really enjoyed about this track was when he says too much hunger it's a wonder why these dudes can't keep up so saying yes to a feature this means about to eat lunch i love that i love that line for the simple fact that um cole back in uh, it might have been last year if it wasn't last year it was the year before he went on his whole feature run that he absolutely freaking killed it anybody saying that cole did not kill his features when he was going on that run you're snorting crack like legit i don't know what drugs you're on i don't know what kind of vietnamese opium you done picked up but for real that man was spazzing on every single feature he did i think my favorite one he did was um i think it's pretty little fears or pretty little liars is i think pretty little liars is a tv show pretty little fears i think with uh black i feel like that's his best one that he came out with maybe that and um the other one with boss i can't remember the name of the track i can't forget about the last line when he says supposed to be relaxing this passion makes that impossible um i feel like Cole, not not Cole, uh, Kendrick should listen to those words and replay it again and again and again and again because we ain't got nothing from Kendrick since damn, okay? These little these little uh, rinky-dink features that you're doing on uh, Baby Keem, he is Baby Keem. These little things that you're doing top of the morning, all that foolishness, all right, that's cool. That's great for right now, but um, we need an album, okay? So if we don't get an album this year, Kendrick, I don't know what I'm going to do personally, but I know I'm going to be pissed off, okay? So uh Kendrick please for me personally when it comes to Cole and his music I really just like honestly I love this side of Cole where he's just he has no problem with just it's almost like he's venting you know what I'm saying it's just venting out whatever it is on his mind he's just letting it go letting it be free and that's it you know no no strings attached no uh, hidden agendas and all this other foolishness it's just dude spitting on the mic pause and doing what he got to do you know what i'm saying and that's it honestly i think that is this type of demeanor on um certain songs is the reason why for your eyes only is one of my favorite cole albums because um actually the title track that and uh vil mentality ridiculous bro taking whatever is in here writing it down saying it out loud and just letting it be what it is man you know and i and i really really admire cole for that um a lot there's like a running joke now that cole is just too humble or whatever but i feel like it's that's just cole even when he had his little beef or beef with uh no name it wasn't anything crazy you know what i'm saying it, they were still able to uh just leave it at music and call it a day anyways man cole heaven's ep y'all let me know your thoughts in the uh, comment section if you like the track if you didn't like the track just talk to me are you excited for uh new cole music just let me know how you feel man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace